one point, I semi-cheated again, and I was like, I know what the song is, I'm, so I knew what the, the lyric, the whole lyric was. Why are you cheating? And then it kept saying, it did say, Al Green, let's stay together, and I was mm-hmm. like, that doesn't have the word love in it, so it's not that one. He literally says, my, let's stay together. My dumbass. You said it was a whisper. I'm like, he does not whisper My it. dumbass didn't even, like, Google, I mean, uh, listen to YouTube audio when it was bringing it up from a Google result. Yeah, so I deserve to lose today. No. I sucked. Don't be so hard on yourself. <sighs> sucked. So bad. Bunch of the suckiest bunch of sucks that ever sucked. That's what Homer said. <laughs> Did you know that sometimes songs yeah. are not named after the first five words in I the song? I did know that. I learned that when I was five. Oh. <laughs> All right, Toy, say something. Remember when we were supposed to have a podcast? Podcast. 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 That's good stuff. All right. All right. Well, Why? <laughs> not the whole thing, I hope. It's been good like... episode. Come on, let's go. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Hi. <laughs> what an intro. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you were just staring. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Welcome to the Lemon Tea Podcast. I'm T and this is Lem. Hi. <laughs> Should right. we try this again? No. Do what you want. If you want to, if you want to be more professional mm. with it, we can totally do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I won't just. Yeah. Okay. Hi. <laughs> lie, lie to me. All right. Well, uh, how are you? Welcome to episode number nine. Yeah. Of the Lemon Tea Podcast. We're almost running out of fingers. Yeah. We. All... <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Like I, I say this probably every episode, but. Um, just <laughs> ASMR it's because it's that portion of the podcast and by that portion I mean the entirety of it I actually had somebody that reached out to me and he was like I- I've watched almost all your podcasts I go that's cool thank you really yeah and he goes for god's sake stop eating during them <laughs> yeah <laughs> so shout out to you <laughs> I won't say your name or who you are oh. but you know who you are okay so see it's not just me I don't think it's that bad. Like, I just don't you think it's that bad. You get one more comment that says that. Okay, what? Then, if I, then if that's I get proof, one more comment. No, then that's proof that it's bad. It's not that bad. Because you can just write it off. Like, I say it, and then mm. you're like, how, ha, ha, because she's just joking. I don't or, believe you. Or And <laughs> then this one guy that you just talked about, mm-hmm. and you're like, well, it's just one guy, so what if it's two? Yeah. What if it's two? Yeah, then you have a third opinion. I would welcome any comments. But you're not going to change. No, well, maybe <laughs> it depends on what the the uh, the public <clears throat> at large. Yeah, what they say. We'll do this. We'll do this democratically. All right. Ooh, okay. All right. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything's going to change because, as you as you know, we live in a democracy now. In a society. We live in a society, <laughs> and uh, nothing gets changed. No. Oh yeah. That's despite true. our best efforts. Except for daylight savings time, maybe. Oh my God. Maybe because the priority. That's where the priorities lay. DST. 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 Um, Marco Rubio, too, doing that because he's a loser. Oh, good. And, like, this is the only legacy he'll have is changing the fucking DST. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Other than that, he's a loser. If you live in Florida, Marco Rubio is a loser. You probably already know. I mean, he's... In, I'm a, I'm, never mind. I won't say it because you're from Florida and that's mean. Oh, no, that's fine. Go ahead. I was going to say he's among good company. Wow. Hear that, Floridians? You're all losers. No! That's not what I meant. Said it first. I'm sorry. It's not what I meant. Listen, every it's state... It's not what she meant? Every state has losers, okay? So, like... Charlie Baker. I mean, okay, well, we're getting very political. <laughs> yeah. Our town manager. Anyway, um... Oh, any- I can't say who it is. But anyway, speaking of talking about things yeah. uh, without saying where we live, shout out to Ocho... Uh, tacos and tequilas. Yes, because they are a chain restaurant. They so. are a chain restaurant. They're they're fantastic. They actually just the, opened up on Tuesday. Yes, they're not a big chain. I think there's only like three or four, but like there's more than one. And we finally went to go get their food. 
because it took literally months for them to open here. Because, I think we've been waiting for this for a long time. Yeah, and they finally got all the go-aheads and good stuff, and uh, we went and ate there, and it was amazing. It was Ever fantastic. Since I decided to not be such a white girl and expand my palate. You did great. Yeah, I had an <clears> enchilada. <throat> it was rad, uh, and the rice was really good too. Yep. Uh, so yeah, so special shout out because we were like hyping it up for months. Like this no. is going to be great. We're I gonna... told you, I told you, I knew like, that it was going to be good, but I try to keep my expectations oh, I know. low. I so, know. Like... But I saw the menu mm -hmm. from the other places. Oh, uh, okay. I thought and you were just swayed by the, their tacos and tequila. I mean, they look good and title. that would have swayed me anyways, because yeah. I, I love tequila mm -hmm. as you probably saw. Um, yeah. <laughs> I got drunk. Uh, very, mm. but I had spoken to the, the gentleman earlier and, uh, you know, he had a bit of an accent and, uh, it sounded, uh, it sounded very Mexican. All right. Mm -hmm. And I can say that cause it was true. Uh, <laughs> there you go. And I said, he's got an accent. The food's going to be banging. Mm -hmm. The food was. Oh, I don't, so I don't like guacamole. I'm a bad millennial, but they have table side oh. guacamole, which I've never seen as a thing before, but then it looked, was done and I was like, oh, okay, that's it. And the woman who was doing the table side thing kept adding stuff to it. And yep. I'm like, wow, it really sucks that I don't like the main component because that looks so good. It was very, very good. It was so it, fresh. One of the, one of the, like the best, probably like bowls of guacamole that I've ever had. Yeah. And it was, uh, I looked it. It was so good. We ate almost the whole thing. So, and that was before we even ordered anything. It yeah. was just for nachos. Chips. They were like, "Do you want salsa? Do you want cheese? How about table side guacamole?" It's like, "Sure, all three. And then <laughs> give us, give us all of it, please. Yeah. So, shout out to them. Shout out. Uh, we hope nothing but Ocho. success for you. Ocho. Very, very good. It means eight. It does mean eight. Like You're our, very good. Like our last episode number. That's true. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. Episode number eight. Do you remember what the title is called? I don't, as of right now, I don't think we have it titled yet because we only have we did seven come up episodes. The title yet. You're right. We oh, wait. Yeah, but no, no. Yes, we do have a title. Do we? It was that I just took a DNA test. Turned oh, out. yes. So, because we took a DNA test. Speaking of, um, I now more than ever got to care less about St. Patrick's Day as it happened this week. Why is that? Us, because I am not Irish whatsoever. What are you? Got it. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. And so Scotland. I was like, I, I made a, I had made a tweet mm -hmm. and it came off like I knew this beforehand. I didn't because I was like, ew, I accidentally wore green to work today. Ew. But bet that when uh, St. Andrew's Day comes around on November 30th, I'll be rocking Scotland colors. First of all, I had to look up if they even had a national holiday. Like, I didn't know what St. Andrew's Day was, let alone the date. I didn't either. But... That was cool to find out as a newly, like, discovered Scottish person like myself. <laughs> I won't That's, make it, like, this whole big, like, cultural exploration, but it is just, like, this it's whole... Cool. It's cool. It, it's, it's fun to find out. And it's a whole culture that my family never threw it as a possibility. Like, <laughs> Irish was thrown out as a possibility before. Irish. Scot Scottish was. So... Nice. Yeah. And then this year, upcoming for Hanukkah, you can explore your Jewish heritage, too. I don't have as much um, Jewish heritage as, as you have Scottish heritage, though. Well, yeah, but you can still do... I think we talked before on an episode. You can celebrate like 10 hours worth of the first day of Hanukkah. <laughs> okay. You can get a menorah. Or All something. right. Yeah. No, we will get a menorah. I think that would be dope. Yeah. And, and, and just kind of like decorate it. Uh, maybe we can... We can play dreidel. <gasps> I would love to. Yeah. And my kids know how to play it. They learned it in school. Isn't it funny how like I never knew about dreidel until public school? Yeah. They did pretty good with with that whole thing. I don't know yeah. if it's all entirely accurate what they taught us, but um, I always wondered that too. Yeah, but now we have the internet, and so we can check. I'm gonna become an expert in she, it. Yeah, making up if they make up rules or like, this means gimel and this means you lose, and it's like, well, I'm I'm seven years old, so I guess you're right. Gimel's so, good, right? I actually have no idea. That's the only one I could remember. I think gimel's the one that you you get the whole pot. Oh, okay. So um. But anyway, so yeah, um, I hope you all had a great St. Patrick's Day, but that's not for me. Fuck it. I don't like it. Oh, oh my God. So I, I texted my mom. I was like, I accidentally wore green, damn it, or whatever. And she um, she had texted back and she said, um, 
OMG, me too. We really screwed up this year. Because <laughs> like I said before, I don't like this. I don't like St. Patrick's Day yep. by proxy of her. And then she texted later and said that um, your grandfather just said that Grammy was not a fan of St. Patrick's Day either. <laughs> so it's a family affair. It is, yes. Gen- passed down from generation to generation. Uh, but <clears throat> But yeah, so... I don't have, I've, I've tried to rationalize it here before, but I don't think from the looks you were giving me when I tried to rationalize it, I... I wasn't giving any damn looks. You were just like, all right, sure, uh, sure, that's a valid reason that's just to how not my like voice sounds. I'm very, I'm very boring. I, oh my God, that's not what I meant. Yes, it is. I don't have much of a tone. Well, I'm apparently sorry. people disagree who have been watching or subscribing, which we appreciate. And if you haven't, you Thank should, you very much for that. Please and thank you. So, so we would disagree. love it. Sorry, I'm still looking up no, it's fine. dreidel rules. <laughs> so, the the oh. dreidel rules. Oh, you were right. Yeah, gimel means get all. Mm-hmm. None means do nothing. That makes sense. Do you want to know why I know that? No. Well, b- besides playing it as a child, mm. uh, there was an episode of Arthur where Fran- uh, where they kind of explore. Um, oh, yeah. I think it's a Christmas episode. Yeah. Uh, or like a movie. And and Francine actually is Jewish, I guess. Yeah. And and, and she's playing dreidel. Mm. And she's like, gimel. And she gets all the okay. Yeah, I remember this now. Mm-hmm. It's so strange. I, I have a lot of Arthur this. memories in here. My own two my core, my four core Arthur memories are. It's here. Um, having fun isn't hard when you have a library card. Yep. Um, and most of the, all the other three ones are memes, which are um the the infamous snowball episode. Oh yes. Um. Mm-hmm. Who, who who ate the snowball? Yep. And then Buster saying, "Do you really think people go and tell lies on the internet?" <laughs> and then they do. DW asking Francine why she has to co- keep coming over to bother their family. <laughs> why are you bothering us? Yeah. Why don't you go back to your house and stop bothering us? Yeah. Uh, but I do have other genuine great memories of Arthur, and uh, that is great. It was one of my favorite shows as a kid. Yeah. So and I have a lot of fond memories of it. And it's <clears> cool <throat> when shows like that acknowledge other lesser known holidays, lesser known compared to like, I mean, if you're talking just Christmas and literally anything else, it is the holiday is the lesser known holiday. <clears throat> Christmas is like a juggernaut of a holiday. It's but like a super yeah. holiday. But that's why it was always cool. Like, I mean, I guess it's cool that I'm, ass- I'm assuming the Francine one maybe was a, was it its own episode or was it like shoehorned in with the Christmas part? I think there was a special called Arthur's Perfect Christmas okay. and I think it was in there, but it may have just been a standalone episode where they were talking about holidays or whatever. Because I was going to say, I always liked uh, when Rugrats, because yep. they would do, because Tommy's the yes. main character. so um, And he's, Ju- he's half Jewish. Yes. And they had like full, like I never seen, like even when I was in like Sunday school at my uh, You went church. to Sunday school? Yeah, I did. Cool. Yeah. First communion. Yikes. Yeah. Anyway, I remember watching... Um, like the, I think there's there was more than one because they had the one with um, Moses. It did the retelling, and they were like, and they put sheep blood on the frames of the doors, and I'm like, why? I don't remember. I I don't know. I I only vaguely knew about it in uh, Sunday school, but wow, I learned more from Rugrats about stories from the Bible than uh, church. Yeah, than church. Uh, I didn't go to church very much, and when I did, uh, we sat in a separate room and played our Game Boys. Ah, yes. I also, me and my brother would also bring our Game Boys to church. My mom would just be like, make sure the volume's low, like off. Mm-hmm. But we'd always, when the singing, I remember cheating when like the singing Ugh. happened in the choir, I would turn my Game Boy up a little bit because <laughs> I would know that it's on and I would be able to hear the noise because yeah. it's bore, It's more boring to play like a silent video game. It is, but so. given the choice of playing a silent video game and actually paying attention in church, I would pick the silent video game every time. hundred, hundred I mean, out of a hundred. Okay. Well, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, me and my brother are also, are also baptized and we have like, when I say like legitimate godparents, I guess I mean ones that are recognized by the church or whatever, mm. but I don't know. I don't know if I really subscribe to, I don't know if I'd ever make, have my child do that. Okay. We yeah, because me and my husband don't care about organized religion all that much. We are yeah. both brought up that way, but he keeps telling me that like our future child will have to get baptized um, or how whatever the process is because his family w- was very is very Catholic. Um, yes, it's a big deal. They get baptized when they're little. 
Catholics um, care le- care more than Christians do because I grew up Christian and like uh, Catholic is Christianity on crack, and that's crack-lick. coming from a, a Catholic. <laughs> Crack, crack lick. Crack. Um, yeah, my family's Catholic. I, I uh, had a little bit of experience with the Catholic um, upbringing. Uh, you get baptized basically when you're an infant. You have the first communion and like all that mm-hmm. bullshit. I don't know anything about this. I'm just speaking about things that I've heard or things that I've seen. Uh, nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> nobody knows. They say, uh, I was baptized. I didn't do my first communion. Uh, I didn't do any of the other shit with... Uh, any of that until it came time for me to get married ah and then at that point i had to do shit Mm -hmm. because she's also catholic though none of us we don't care about religion right Um, it it was all family influenced as far as i yeah which it tends to be you know so yeah hey listen it's not like a shit on religion episode like no do your own thing yeah i don't care if you heavily believe and i hope that you don't care that i don't heavily believe yeah there you go I don't care. I uh, just, I just, I don't want to talk about it. Like, I, I really think it's not really worth my time to talk about because I don't have anything to add. Right. So, um, I know my, me and my brother, for whatever reason, I'll have to ask and see if he remembers what we were like, like seven or eight or six and eight respectively. Um, when we decided we didn't really like going to church anymore. On you Sunday. were that young? Wow. You got to decide that young. Oh, well, so here's the thing. We went and finally told our mom we were like we don't really want to do this anymore and she was Mm -hmm. like you have to well she was like can you at least wait until your first communion's done and then you guys can quit (laughs) was it for money (laughs) Um, i won't immediately say yes but Uh, i'm sure that was a big deciding factor into it so hey listen get what you can get the bread and then get out get that dough get that dough get that communion wafer great yeah <laughs> uh that shit is gross by the way i'm sorry it has no flavor what what you're the mountain dew um, thing no, no no the the um they call it oh your wafer i'm like what are you in, talking about the wafer in catholicism they call yeah. it the, uh the eucharist hmm okay it's a fancy word for uh here's a mm-hmm. shitty cracker that dissolves in your mouth and it sucks yeah and then they make you drink a uh, wine out of the same goblet that everyone else touches which horrifies me now it's gross it's i gross. used to like it actually because i was you like because well, i was like and it's blood i'm not supposed to have this <laughs> it's supposed to be blood but they're saying i can have it yeah so but yeah you're right so like i always would do it in succession so i never really paid attention to just the wafer yeah and by that point it was morning and we had we kind of had breakfast but i was still hungry so it kind of was what it was so there you go making the best of it religion not for get us religion get religion like Spider-Man says. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't either. It was my, my stupid web. No, so no. I did, I did the same oh, thing. Oh, okay. Like a second earlier. So I thought you were just, you know. Making fun of you? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. No. Roasting. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. What a bullshit fucking <laughs> lie. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to go on the internet to tell lies. You can tell them in person too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you saw that. Is that OneDrive thing important? Or? Nope. Okay. Nope. All right. Welcome back. But not at all. Nothing happened. Nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. Is... Please stay calm. Please stay calm. <laughs> so anyway. Yes. Um, I actually do not remember what you were going to say before. Um, we... It doesn't matter. Let's move on. Okay. You <laughs> had um, an exciting night mm. last night. Yeah, I did. Because the good old... CC Co Heaton Cambria was not in town. You had to go out of state, but uh, I went to Connecticut. Yeah, to the uh, New Haven like music hall, whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. It was great. It was a great show. The whole day, every time I, I I go to a concert, I have some sort of like crazy experience, but it's always like a great story. Mm-hmm. So like, I'm always down to go to concerts because like, it's just gonna be a great memory. Regardless of if the music is good or, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Obviously, that matters too. But I always come back with a fucking really great story. And as far as I know, because I figured it would be more fun to have you r- unveil everything for the first time on the podcast. But you had sure. m- more than one interesting memory that came out of uh, oh yeah, out of your trip. So first of all, <laughs> if you don't know, New Haven is uh, apparently where Yale is at. Where what? Uh, Yale. 
you know, oh, Harvard, Yale, Yale, yeah, yeah, yeah. The okay. Ivy League yeah, yeah, yeah. bullshit schools that charge much too, too money. Too much. Uh, so we, I did not know what Yale looked like. I had never really seen it. I've only seen Harvard. Uh, Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> and Harvard's huge, massive, and it, it's kind of like like gothic looking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was the same way. It's a fucking castle. Oh, really? It's like Hogwarts. It's like I, American Hogwarts. I just Hogwarts. knew it was made out of stone or brick or something. Oh, it's made out of stone. Massive. Massive. Mm-hmm. Like, the there's like wrought iron gates that let you into certain parts of the building. and. Let me in. I wanted to go in there so badly. I'm right, like, they should do tours for just, just regular folk. They probably do. Mm-hmm. They probably do. But it it was just really impressive. Mm-hmm. But that's not why we were there. Okay, <laughs> we went to go see Coheed and Yale. Yeah. So Coheed and Cambria is like my <clears throat> it's like my favorite American band, and uh, they do really great, really great music. I think the vocalist is one of the most talented vocalists that exists. And um, just everybody in the band is just so, so fucking good at what they do. Um, they played a show in New Haven. We went there to go see them, stayed at a hotel, uh, and uh, made our way down to where the venue was. Mm-hmm. You know, a little, like, short little walk, maybe like five minutes, right? Yeah. Not too far, not too bad. And uh, first thing was we stopped in at this awesome fucking, this is free promotion for them. Yeah. It's a noodle house. It's called Mecca. Shout out New Haven. Oof. I guess the entirety of New Haven. New Maybe Haven. not, but... New Haven rules. Uh, first thing we see, though, is all these fucking people going by, like, on the road. And they're on, like, quads and, like, ATVs and fucking motorcycles. It looked like the beginning of a Rough Rider video. It was crazy. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. Finally make it to Mecca. Have a fucking banging banging bowl of ramen mm-hmm. like ooh, chef's kiss so good <laughs> uh one of our friends emma ordered like this this uh bao with with like chicken inside of it oh like fried chicken what it was like korean inspired i guess mm-hmm. it was so fucking good she's in it was so fucking good. that sounds awesome i don't we, we just ate I'm i know hungry again. <laughs> i could eat again too yeah yeah um delicious the ramen was spectacular the drinks were fire mm. so good I, I had this like i don't even know what was in it uh which is probably not good <laughs> no it's in your drinks but it was uh suggested by the waiter mm-hmm. um and then our friend sean got this drink which was a surprise oh good the waiter said do you know what you want or would you rather be surprised and sean said how could i pass that up <laughs> <I'm right. Yeah. laughs> you know yeah uh so it was basically like his drink was a it was like a jam jar like a jar that you'd get oh, like, like smuckers in or whatever mm-hmm. and then it started out yellow shake it up turns red and it tastes like fucking gin and kool-aid it's awesome that sounds awesome i love so interactive hot. drinks yes Jeez. yes it was fantastic and then cool part oh uh, that wasn't the cool part no oh gosh Dude had the same name as me. Oh. <laughs> All right. So that yeah. was cool. Mm-hmm. Second, he um offered us some free shots, man. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It was great. These like Vietnamese. I don't remember what kind of liquor it was. It was some mm-hmm. kind of Vietnamese liquor. And the shot glasses were like, they almost look like, uh, like a seashell. Okay? Oh, okay. And at the bottom is like kind of like a seashell is a hole. Mm-hmm. And I guess like you're supposed to balance it and plug the hole up, and it's supposed to indicate if you like you're able to like, keep going with drinking and such. Oh, so, of course, mine leaked all the way out <laughs> because I was not plugging the hole because I was getting ripped. Hey, <laughs> I was getting ripped tonight. <laughs> uh, but it was very very smooth. Mm-hmm. Oh man, it's like it's almost like that part of the night was just too good to be true. And the waiter was cute. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> but. Yeah. Regardless. Uh, fucking amazing. Fucking you had amazing. some other fun adventures after the concert, right? We have fun adventures at the concert. Oh, okay. Any <laughs> Anything you want to share? <laughs> I don't know if I should. Okay. Well, oh. Okay. Go ahead. Somebody like 
somebody fucking uh, ate it. And I don't know if they died or what, but like somebody ate it. I feel like you would have heard by now if that was the case, right? I probably. What but happened? like, so this this older gentleman, mm-hmm. like, he was having a good time, and then he hits the ground. Oh shit! Like, completely hits the fucking ground. Oh. A couple seconds go by. He gets up. I'm okay. I'm okay. Mm. You know, he looks red as fuck. Eyes are like bulging out. Oh. Uh, hits the ground again. Oh my god. Gets up. I'm fine. I'm fine. He oh, like seems no. embarrassed. Yeah. Uh, happens a third time. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm looking behind me, and I'm like, I'm at. I was actually really, really kind of scared because I'd never uh, really seen that in person, and it was just very jarring. Yeah, I bet. So, uh, as lame as that sounds, I was a little bit afraid. I, I mean, that's. I feel like that's a normal human reaction to have. I don't know, man. Jeez. Like, I just. I guess I'm pretty like sheltered when it comes to shit like that. Like, I don't. I kind I am too, kind of. You know. I had a similar experience when I went to. I guess it must have been, Pax. Sure. Or Kineticon, and now I can't remember which one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there was somebody who had had a seizure in front of literally everybody. Uh, that one I'm more prone to. My aunt gets a lot of seizures. So like, I've seen it. It's crazy. Yeah. Though. And he had like a friend who was with him who was like, you know, don't touch him and mm-hmm. whatever. But it's like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's horrifying to see something like that where people don't have control over their bodies and stuff. Yes. And horrifying only in the sense of it being like an unusual thing. Not like if anybody. Good for that guy, it. though, that he had somebody that he could trust enough to like yeah. reveal that and also be like, Training them to to say like certain key points like don't touch him and don't do this. Like, yeah, it's so. But at least there's that. There's people looking out for yeah anyone with those issues. So hopefully that that guy is okay. I'm, I, I hope mean, he's fine. I hope he's fine. I don't I'm think sure he's he dead. Like <laughs> as as an option, if because I was pretty gone at that point, <laughs> and I was looking at him like, and the song is. By the way, the song that was playing was a song. God, what was it called? It's a song that's literally called The End Complete. Oh. And he's dying during this song. Oh, well. Uh, incredible song. Go ahead and listen to it, by the way. <laughs> did you ever find out, because you told me at the concert, did you ever find out why they played that the theme song to what, family, family Matters? Family Matters? I don't know. And it wasn't even Kohi that did that. It was the band that came on before them. Oh, okay. And I don't know why they did it. Oh, okay. I thought it was Coheed themselves. No. Okay. No, that would have been cool too, but like, I don't know why they did it. I wonder if they got it mixed up with like the Golden Girls theme song or something. Maybe. And they were just like, ah, whatever. It's a show from the 80s. So. Jaleel, Wright, Jaleel White rules. And uh, yeah. Yeah. And he makes uh, marijuana now. Yes. Purple Urkel. Yes. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but anyway, after the concert. Um, yes. So after the concert, we no sleep for the wicked or <laughs> no. the, or the hungry. <laughs> Hell no. Or the wicked hungry. Emma was hungry. I was getting kind of hungry too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we stopped across the street from our hotel. There was a Popeyes. Mm-hmm. So we went there, and uh, this dude is having a fucking meltdown. Okay. He's like he's like cursing and saying all this shit and just like going off on the cashier. Mm-hmm. Apparently his card got charged like twenty eight dollars and like thir- no exactly twenty eight dollars and thirty cents because he kept saying it twenty eight thirty twenty eight thirty <laughs> okay this went on like poor Emma goes up to try to order some food mm-hmm. in the midst of all this chaos oh no and he just keeps interrupting every time she she's like can I have a number three and he's like twenty eight thirty twenty eight thirty on my card Jesus yeah so did they help out or the manager had to he, they had to call their manager because the, he, he was gone mm-hmm. and he had to give them approval over the phone to like talk to the customer so the guy hand, one of the workers hands his uh cell phone over to the customer and he's on the phone with the fucking manager for like five minutes meanwhile i'm thinking like get this fucking guy out of here just right. give him the fucking money it's like it's popeyes they make a shit ton of money yeah yeah like is it going to hurt your bottom line? Yeah. Yeah. So, so what? You guys have a lot and uh, get this motherfucker out of here before he kills somebody over a sandwich. I Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's a company policy thing because. Yes. Like if they hadn't called the manager, it would have been a whole thing about how they're like stealing or whatever. So. What's even crazier is that. So he leaves. We finally get to order. Uh, nobody's getting their fucking receipts or tickets. So like. Oh, uh, okay. Nobody knew what number they were. Mm hmm. 
the guy at the cash register refused to go over like five feet and give people their tickets <laughs> because he was running the register. Uh huh. To which, like his his coworker was like, "That's fucking stupid." Like, right. yeah, like yes. we're already having all this backup and problems. Yeah. Like, you, so it was a fucking mess, man. New Haven Popeyes, get your shit together. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It's a no from me. It's no from me. Chicken though. was fire, though. Was, shit was good. Okay, so it is, it's a yes from you. It's a yes from me, but get your shit together. <laughs> this is like a reluctant American Idol judging. But yeah, so this is like the kind of shit that happens to us all the time when we go anywhere mm-hmm. as a group. Yeah, I, I'm just sorry. I'm just staring at your... um. What? You're you're the box that you oh of, shit I didn't even talk about that yeah wow I, so because there was one other adventure afterwards which yes. was a special cookie store which I I'm I'm sure I've heard of this or like variants yes. they're like on the on the come up and everything of like sweets stores that stay open stupidly late for mainly, three a.m. mainly the college demographic which would apply here for at least you know Yale so you guys got cookies we did um. At like an ungodly hour by like any other o'clock. standards. It's like yeah. one a.m. They're open till three, by the way. And, and the That's business, an ungodly hour. It's ungodly, but it's ungodly delicious too. Insomnia cookies. They were they're awesome. Apparently, they have one here in Boston. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say I've heard one that's uh more local than Connecticut, but I wasn't yeah. sure. Yeah, it's so. a good idea. It's like because <sighs> you first of all like. You you won't have any competition. Who else is staying open past like eleven? <sighs> Second of all. You're not going to have any, like, worry about, I don't know. There's no, did I already say there's no competition? I don't know. Yes, you did. I did. <laughs> but it's okay. No competition. There's no competition. But, yeah. Do you know that um, Emma and I had this idea 10 years ago? Like, this was I, our fucking idea. We're like, <gasps> you know what this town needs? Fucking delivery desserts, man. I mean, oh, okay. Was this also including the staying up at a, until a late oh, hour? Oh, God, thing? yeah. Oh, okay. You guys should have patented that. <sighs> Someone know. stole your idea now. Insomnia Cookie stole your I idea. I mean, they probably had it way before we did. And, and uh, to be honest, uh, like, no idea is really, like, original anyways, so. Simpsons did it. Simpsons did it first. But I think it's such a, yeah, it's a cool business idea. Let me tell you what I ate yesterday. From them. Oh, from them. I was going to yes. say. All right, go on. It was a s'mores cookie, Ooh. and it was warm and like melting, and it tasted exactly like I'm a so fucking hungry. s'more. It was the well. I brought you back actually a cookie to try. I thought you were just bringing back the box. No, no. I have cookies in there for you to try. Real what meat really? Yes. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so nice. I really thought you were just like no. This is a cool box. I didn't even. Oh fuck no no no. We uh so. She- Sean, a- Emma, and I got two cookies apiece, mm-hmm. uh, and, and they had vegan cookies. Yes, I saw them. Um, I forget if it was you or Sean that posted a picture, and they were individually wrapped. It was you. It was okay. me. It me. I was very proud. I posted it on Twitter. I'm still proud of it. It's I definitely made uh, while well, intoxicated in some way, but um, <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, cliffhanger cliffhanger yes so that's fun though you have to do more i i feel like coheed and cambria was just here or in the area weren't the, they didn't they just go on tour like five or six months ago september okay i went to their show in september they it's had march september right they had yeah. another thing in october where they rented a cruise ship and did like shows and mm-hmm. all this kind of shit um i think I want to say they had some gigs in January and February somewhere, but this other tour is starting now. Actually, it, it just ended. Oh um, and they're back in July or June they, or something. Are are they based in New England? I uh, they're out of Nyack, New York. Okay, okay, that's not horrible. So it's not New say, England, but it's. I was gonna a say, as far as drive. like travel wise, they're like making very frequent like visits. Yeah, no, they they can afford to uh, visit Boston and stuff because you know they're so close. And mm-hmm. I think I might be wrong about this, but I think the show we saw yesterday on the 18th was uh, their final final show of the tour. So oh, it was Ending really cool. In Boston. It was awesome. Nice. Well, that's very good. Yes. And you are also going somewhere else very soon 
a, a gathering that was a thing pre-COVID oh, yes. was back up and running? So I know like I gave kind of like a like oh I'm not gonna go to any conventions this year and then I'm going to okay, a convention. You yeah, you did. <laughs> I thought you said it, but I wasn't sure. I was like, I think no, he, I think did I he swear off convention. I'm like, you know what? Not this year, man. And then I end up seeing PAX. Uh, we went up to Boston a couple times with the kids in the past couple weeks, and uh, a, in uh, South Boston there is the. I don't know what the name of the convention center is, but it's a convention center mm -hmm. where PAX is held. PAX, the, the gaming convention. PAX East. PAX East, to be specific. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it just was really cool to see the convention center and it brought back the memories of, like, going to conventions and chilling, playing games, hanging out with people and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm like, floated the idea out to my wife. I'm like, what do you think about going to PAX this mm -hmm. year? Uh, she's like, uh, you know, maybe, yeah. maybe not. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, well, you gotta be vaxxed to do it. And, uh, still got a bunch of tickets left. And that was like, like the spark because. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Like in normal times, tickets would be gone, long gone. It oh, would okay. have been gone like 20 minutes after they, they launch in like October or something like that. Oh yeah. That is a so. while in advance, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. So. You can be representing the podcast at PAX East. So if you see him, oh, say cool. hello and say, tell his wife how cool her uh, her cosplay will be. Yes. Do you want to know what she did? She was telling me a little bit, but I feel like you know and it can ex maybe explain it a little better. So she's gotten business cards for me. Oh, yes. To, that. Like hand out and network. Mm. I don't know how to fucking network with anybody, man. I'm not, I'm gonna be honest. I'm fucking awkward. That's the. I feel like that's the appeal of the podcast. We're two awkward thirty <sighs> somethings, being awkward and going on tangents. Yes, I think it, that's a sell on its own. It is a sell. It's a slam. <laughs> Come on and slam. Oh, all right. <laughs> so yeah. So you'll be networking. I'll be networking and promoting um, the podcast. I appreciate that. Yeah, and I you, will try to see who's out there. I'll be like, you know what. Your podcast looks dope. Yeah. Check out mine. Yeah, absolutely. I'll watch so, yours if you watch watch mine. That's right. And uh, you can find him there as well as his wife who will have a uh, elaborate mask co cosplay. Uh, face she, cosplay. Yeah, she would be cosplaying as uh, someone from Mass Effect. Okay. And they all... I don't, I've never played Mass Effect. Do they all wear Tally. masks? Anyway. Tally. Okay. Um, they do when they're out. Okay. But this one specifically wears it all the time. So, and that's a so. very good, she was telling me the specs of that, where it was like, um, that it's constantly flowing new air and stuff. Yep. She is cosplaying safely. She, uh, she's so fucking smart with all mm. that stuff. So I, I, um, I don't know, man. She just always blows me away with how much she knows and like how smart she is. Very resourceful too. I'm, I'm apt to like trust her on almost anything just because right she's not she's not somebody it's not that she's not funny but she doesn't use like lying as a form of humor mm -hmm. so so you know like she would never lie about something yeah. like that uh so when she says something i'm always i'm always inclined to believe her yeah and that's shout out to you actually hey ash uh <laughs> thanks for not being a lying piece of shit you know, Love just you. the bar that we have for yeah. ourselves. <laughs> Damn. All right. Tori, I think yeah. we should talk about you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you've had a more exciting couple of days than I have. So I'm I sorry. No, don't be sorry for having an exciting day. My most exciting point of my week has been um, Hurdle. <laughs> okay. For real, it's been Hurdle. Like, it's no. with my work and I'm, Hurdle. I'm very proud to hear that because I... Love that game. I, I don't love remember, Hurdle. I, I can't remember if we talked about this on the last one, but in case mm -hmm. we didn't, it's one of the many bajillion spinoffs of Wordle, right. which turned a lot of people off from its initial charm by being bought up by New York Times. Yes. Um. So I think I'm probably even before that. It's like Among Us and like Agario or any sort of like popular simple thing. It gets like a million spinoffs. So mm -hmm. there was ones where you could do, um, I don't know the, my name, but like there's Loodle and then yes. there was like one where you could compete in kind of live time with other people, kind of like Tetris 99. And then there's Hurdle, which is the one. Lewis there was and I one played. called like 
like uh, Quaddle or something like that, you had to solve four Wardles at once. Okay. I feel like we did talk about this because yeah. I remember that. But anyway, you're going to get your uh, your weekly, bi-weekly, uh, what is Hurdle? What are the, what are the origin story? Uh, but yeah, so it's... I'm so, I'm so glad that you're playing Hurdle. Yeah, it's fun. It's making me... Because it's, it's making me challenge myself. Yes. And re- like really what I've come to know with one exception is that unless there's an instrument with a beat playing in the beginning, I don't, <laughs> I don't know it. It can't be a sound effect. It can't be just a beat. I have to have the instrument with it. Unless for some reason it's by Daft Punk. <laughs> I was going to say, you nailed that one right off the bat. Yeah, it was, Nailed it. it was like the whirring of a ship because I was really into Daft Punk during that time because it had like blue anime people and I was like a, yep. a, a, an up and coming weeb and I was like, it's not Japanese We've technically. been training. So yeah, so I recognized the sound from the music video part of it, which was also in apparently the track itself. Yes, but Hurdle's it is. really fun and it's got a really great variety. So that was what, 90s, I guess. And then before we've gotten like Whitney Houston and mm-hmm. Madonna um, I can't speak for what the newest, newest thing is, but I think it was probably Lil Nas X. That's the one that I think I remember the most is, is, is Lil Nas X. Because it's uh, new. It's fairly new, I think, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that one. Uh, oh, what's it called? That's What I Want or whatever. No, no. Oh, well, yes. Yeah. Are you well, talking that about one Hurdle? Is new, but yeah, itself? Hurdle itself. I think it's new. I okay. I found out about it on Twitter. Ah, and good then, old Twitter. Um, yeah, it's good for some things. <laughs> like following the Lemon Tea Podcast. Oh my God, the smoothness. <laughs> buttery. <laughs> buttery. Smooth like BTS. Butter. No, no, no. Kids anyway. Bop version of that song was great, wasn't it? No, no, <laughs> my God. The kids. You know what's weird? Because that, um, that's just weird. A, a, the tiniest tangent, I promise. No. The kids, there's nothing suggestive or like bad about the original Butter, as no. much as I'm not totally a fan of it. Lyrically, it's pretty it's it's pretty it's good i mean it's it's appropriate enough for kids oh yeah but it's mid and why make it a kids bop version anyway i just or for anything really for anything it's unnecessary fuck kids bop Jesus. but yeah so that's my mini tangent on uh no that's cool that. so yeah but uh hurdle's really fun and i'm hurdle, glad guys. i know about it i i honestly i i sent that to you and i'm like oh I'm not she's gonna uh kind of a contrarian hipster <laughs> And she's gonna, she's gonna, she's just gonna like shit on this, but whatever. And then you came back with a really positive reaction. I thought this is cool. I'm glad that she's trying it. Yeah. See, the only downside to besides the fact that it's only one a day. I I know. I want to play repeatedly. Yeah. Especially right? when I get on a roll, I'm like. Ugh. Or yeah, at least give me more than one. But anyway, um, cool. the downside to it for my own personal self is mm-hmm. that it is now a tab I must keep open on my phone. Adding to, I will not say the number, but please know it is in the double digits of numbers of tabs open 19. on my Google Chrome phone part. No, it's not 19. <laughs> it's not much better, though. <laughs> it's 13. So, oh, you think too much of me. Um. So anyway, shout out to all the people who have a lot of tabs open in their phone or computer. I see you and you're valued, um, but you are devaluing your technology by doing that. Especially on your computer. Basically, play Hurdle. It's a lot of fun. But play Hurdle. Save it as a bookmark. Yes. Like, I don't know about you, but that was the thing I did with Wordle. In the morning, I would wake up and I'd play my Wordle. And it's like how I start my day. Yeah. Right? That's how I start my day with when I wake up now. It's with Hurdle. Usually, it's been you reminding me. Like, Mm. play your Hurdle. Yeah. Through a message. And it's like 11 o'clock in the morning. I was like, Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I forgot. So, whatever. I don't know. I may be too into the game. I like it. It's simple. Like, it's simple. Mm-hmm. Although you're into a, a, another <sighs> game that seems more complex. What is it? Um, it starts with an E. Oh, Elden Ring. Yeah, that one. It's great. How many hours do you have played? All right. How many hours does it say you have played? It's Okay, so I have like 70 hours almost. All right, how many of those were you conscious, conscious <laughs> for? I thought like 15. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Elden Ring all, and Night hits different. Listen... <laughs> Elden Ring, more like Elder Ring. I'm fucking old and I fall asleep during video gaming now. Like I work all day, I take care of the kids, and then my brain is fucking mush and I go, I should play a video game like when I was 25. 25 seems like it was so long ago. I guess it was. It like- was for me. 
Oh, okay. I'm in my fucking 30s now, baby. I am too. I'm in my... It's still not low mid, 30. Not mid 30s, but less than that, oh. but still shitty. But you know what? Is it? How is it? Because like, I don't know much about it. And it's all I see anybody play or talk about on Switch. Twitch it's incredible. Or yeah. It's fucking incredible. Is it kind of like Skyrim? Is that sort of the vibe or is it something different? Yes, in the regard that it's kind of like an open world kind of game. You can kind of just, mm-hmm. hey, I want to go here. And you go in that direction and you go there. Oh, like Club Penguin. <laughs> I never played Club Penguin, I, but I mean, yes, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> it's like that one stupid TikTok video that was going around Which about one? the snowballs. Like, Oh, Jesus. Then I went and followed him and hit, threw snowballs. And then I went to like, <laughs> waited until it went to another server. And then I looked at his address at his house. Oh, my God. But anyway, if, but yeah, you, if you know, you know. It's uh, fantastic. So that's good. Yeah. I was wondering if that was something that Josh would be into. No. Okay. Then no. My, really? Uh, no. Oh. Is oh. it open world or does it have like a linear quest thing? You can follow a more linear path, but it's still going to take you a, a longer time to get through it. Mm-hmm. There's a lot to see. And... uh I don't know, like, what's Josh's complexity with games? Skyrim. So so, so anyone can play any game, right? Yeah. But does Josh like to die repeatedly, like, over and (laughs) over again and make zero progress? (laughs) Oh, is that Elden Ring? It's like a Dark Souls. So Dark Souls has this, like... Oh, okay. I know Dark Souls. it's, It's made by the same company. So no. He likes the more simple Skyrim or oh, yeah. puzzle games or whatever. Uh, the puzzle here is how do I fucking not die? Oh, that's a good puzzle. It's yeah, a, the life life's puzzle. It's it's not that bad because you can like over level your character and come back and like kind of just mow people down. Yeah, but I don't know if Josh would want to really do that. Skyrim was kind of an even level challenge, you know, like mm. the enemy is not going to do anything too complicated with their attacks. Elder Ring, they're like doing crazy shit rolling around nice at the speed of sound okay <laughs> um yeah so uh that might not be the best one for yeah literally mm-hmm. through, through all of college when it first came out and me and my husband went to college starting in 2010 um into now literally to now the only game he ever plays on his xbox 360 Sp- skyrim. is skyrim El- yeah elder Scroll- scrolls skyrim it's the same campaign. It's the same, like literally the same. He knows. Ex- our Xbox is not hooked up to the internet because we don't need it because he only plays Skyrim and I don't play Xbox games. So it's kind of, it's funny, but I, I also understand it because it's a familiar game to him. Like I have yeah. games that are familiar to me and I go back and play them yeah. all the time. And then I have games that I only really play once or twice. Mm-hmm. You know, he's also of the, um, he likes the RPG stuff anyway he's big on magic go. the gathering and D and stuff like that and he literally considers playing skyrim like a moment like a peaceful escape for him if he wants a day to relax so he's literally just in it for like the ex- like the exploratory sort of like choose your own adventure aspect i wonder if josh would um actually like like um tactical strategy games because that that's very close to playing kind like D D. There was a Steam game that me and him played a lot. It was I think it was called Tanks, but I can't remember. Mm. It, no, it wasn't. It was called Shell Shock. Shell Shock. Shell Shock. But it was like Tanks. It's because it, they're literally just tanks. I'll check it out because like. But it's not super tactical. But I'm sure he was the kid who played Battleship or something. Yeah, like I feel like that would be, and a lot of the aspects of those games kind of mirror what you'd find in a D and D campaign because of yeah of the way they they work so basically my husband likes stress-free games or like if they're going to be stressful that they're like a challenging sort of puzzle stressful and he hates tension and he hates being scared and he hates and um, being on edge playing a video game and that's my i feel husband. that i feel that in my fucking soul and if my husband agrees he should like and comment on this video yeah <laughs> Um, that's my challenge he won't take me up on but anyway so oh. so hopefully you can stay more conscious for Eld- elden ring i almost called it elden scrolls <laughs> elden scrolls by yeah. bethesda nice good um, old bethesda good though oh, jesus christ said no one ever um yeah that's elden ring that is elden ring that is elden ring and everyone's fucking playing it on twitch so they are I, 
I won't stream Elden Ring right now because I'm not good at the game. Mm-hmm. I enjoy it. But it doesn't mean I'm good at it. I'm sure there's a lot of people just playing to play, though. They're not playing to, like, break some record. I just don't want anyone in the chat saying something dumb. Like, oh. And then, like, I read it. And I'm already angry because I'm dying. Oh, Jesus. And then I see, like, uh, haha, get good. Uh, use this technique. And I'm like, I don't fucking want to use that okay. technique. Banned. And drop the ban hammer. And I dropped the ban hammer. So. But, yeah. So. Uh, what do we got next, Tori? What um, are we gonna something t- that I realized as I was going through older episodes this past week that we've talked about, I think at least three times, which is the What's upcoming that? Sonic the Hedgehog movie <laughs> <laughs> release. We, right. we have genuinely talked about this. We have. Multiple times on this podcast. Have as, we really? Yes. As much as we're like shooters for Wanho, we're apparently like shooters for Sonic too. Hello, Wanho. Aw. Um, <laughs> it was very sweet. But, uh... <laughs> But yeah, so um, the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie, the final trailer just came out and it's going to be released Oof. in April, next month. We're going. Less than a month. It will be my first ever movie back in a movie theater since COVID. Yeah, no, it's it's a cool experience. It's not, from my experience, like I even went to go see Spider-Man last year. Mm-hmm. It wasn't that bad. It was space. There you go. Yo- which is, I, which is great. Yeah, I don't need. I don't want a really packed movie theater. So. No, I've never really enjoyed that, anyways. Uh, mm-hmm. But, I mean, now we live in a different time, so we gotta take different things into account. Yes, yes, we do. Yes. So, uh, but yeah, we've talked about this several times. Um, what did you think of it? Well, it's just, I'm hyped for it. I still have of the same mind that I'm excited for any animated character and human named jim carrey and i could not make myself care less about the other plot which i've said before but yeah it's i don't know they kind of have to i guess and they have i forget his name but he's a decently known actor as the main human guy cop guy and so i'm imagining when they do like sonic 2 they're gonna like pan into Sonic's normal life with this cop guy now, so we have to have him. Right. But he wants to get paid this much money, yep. so we might as well put him in more scenes so we get our money's worth. And my whole point is that I don't care. <laughs> I'll be, like, going to use the bathroom or something as those scenes are happening. I don't, I yeah, don't care. They need to have less human interaction. Uh, like, I just want to see, see Sonic talking to Robotnik. I want to see him talking to all of his... Like animal friends. Do you mean animal friends like Tails and Knuckles or animal mm-hmm. friends? Oh, I didn't know if you meant that or like animal friends that he rescues. Oh, the little like, uh, yeah. Those <laughs> all two, I guess. the animal friends. Those little uh, rabbits and all the little birdies. My name is Sonic. I speak for the trees. <laughs> I would love if they would put Danny DeVito in the movie. Who That'd would be cool he be? Place. I don't know. Hang on. Let's think. Because that's also part of it. Amy Rose. Uh, Shadow. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I just started <laughs> blasting. <Yeah. laughs> that was good. All right. So while Charlie Day is doing oh. the Mario movie, Danny DeVito can do the Sonic movie, oh. and all is right with the world. I like that you said Amy Rose. <laughs> Uh, and that's the only other character I could think of. How you doing, Sonic? I could have made him be like uh, Big the Cat. Oh, yeah. Or something. I'm mm-hmm. trying to think of like rotund. Well, big. Big the cat. Yeah. Well, but he's tall. So like, I don't know if I should have him be like, if there's a rotund littler character mm. or whatever. But anyway, Danny DeVito could be whatever he wanted. I'll go see it. I don't care. I love Danny DeVito. I'm sorry. This is a pro, this is a pro Danny DeVito um, podcast mm. and it if always st- will be. If your stance differs, I'm sorry for the way that your life if is going. If your stance differs, guess what? We're going to Danny DeVito you. <gasps> oh, shoot. Right? <laughs> Damn. Shit. That's wow. cold. Wow. That's very cold. Oof. But anyway. um, So we're going to be... I mean, by the time we record our next episode, I think Sonic will have already be out. Hopefully, we can see it by the uh, recording because I want to talk about it. Yeah. No, no. I, I'm... I, I, I think you can get tickets good. now. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy the tickets like okay. immediately. I hope it's good because like a lot of the hype came from the fact that they fixed the first one because it yeah. looks so nightmarish. Mm-hmm. 
And then I feel like that helped make the story a little bit better. There were, I mean, I think overall I would have liked it anyway, but yep. just the fact that it was like, oh my God, they pulled it out, you know, and uh, <laughs> they did it. Rooting for the underdog. Um, there hasn't been a successful like video game movie featuring like actual video game characters. Like Wreck It Ralph is. Detective Pikachu. Oh, no, but I mean like prior to. Oh. Oh, wait. What came out first? Was it. Oh, the chicken or the. <laughs> the chicken or the egg. What came out well, first? No, no. I think they came. Detective Pikachu did because the last movie we saw before COVID in theaters. Yes. yes was it, the it, Sonic did, movie. it did come out. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not impossible, but yeah. video game. Nobody's really racing to do a video game adaptation for the big screen. No, so, they've all been. Because they don't shit. make money. They're not good. So hopefully Sonic Two is more like on the on the track of like that rare formula of making uh, the video game fans and then like the people who are watching Sonic the first time like a commonality of enjoyment. Yeah. Um, and it's not just a boring time with Mr. Cop and company. <sighs> um, that's my <laughs> i'm hoping that it it does I'm, ho I'm hoping that it does well enough without the cop <laughs> and everyone else that i don't care about that's bathroom break time everybody Ugh. but listen okay so so i don't know how they're going to resolve this i'm guessing they're going to follow the plot line for sonic 3 even though it's called sonic 2 because not oh, wasn't introduced yeah. Introduced until Sonic Three. Okay. But I don't know my Sonic lore. You, however, are repping Sonic right now. My son gave this to me. Oh. And it's one of my favorite shirts ever. Like it's very yeah, cute. It actually is really cool. And he uh, also gave me a hat that I have still. Oh. It has Sonic on it. His son is like one of the biggest Sonic fans you'll ever see. Yeah, he's like that. Uh, uh that fucking kid. Uh, what's his name? Sammy. Yeah. Sammy Supersonic fan. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, someday kids have to learn that their actions have consequences. <laughs> when will you learn? When will you learn? <laughs> Sounds like a holy shit. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, I hope he's doing well. It's not easy to be I, like that relentlessly made fun of in the early, the mid 2000s. I have to check out. He did an interview with somebody on YouTube recently. Oh, okay. Um, so I'll have to check out and see what the fuck he's doing. What is he Last doing? Last I knew, I think he was more of like a, like a Trump supporter. Uh, no one can get away from young internet stardom unscathed, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, <laughs> wow, we've got through a lot of this list so far. That's that's pretty good. What? No, we don't have a list. We come up with this stuff on the spot this organically. Is impromptu. Yeah, right? it's improv. Uh, it's improv. Holy shit! Good job. <sighs> yeah, you thanks. sold that one. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're doing it live we're doing it live fuck it so really we have we just have a lot of stuff we want to would want to talk about and share with you guys do you want to talk about that email because i don't know about the email <laughs> we yeah okay so <laughs> we could talk about that because apparently when the last we've there's been an episode in the past where you've called out somebody specifically from our twitter so i guess this is now Shit, what I, was his name i don't remember something about being republican i think okay um so this apparently is now a podcast where we just call out people, which I'm sure is a great, great business model. It's great for know. brands. Brands I won't, love it. I won't do it. I'll be nice and I won't do the whoever sent me the email and whatever. I won't say the name of them, the company, if the company really exists, because um, the email was called um, something. Oh, I didn't get the email name, but it was like YouTube root guarantee. Oh, like, okay, great. And this is from an email of a person with a first and last name with no business like URL at the end of their name. It's a Gmail. So it's was it somebody reaching out for a business opportunity or something yeah. like that? Yeah. So that's pretty much what this is. Um, it was all sent on a, not a PD, like, like a, it looks like a brochure. Like it's just got a colorful background with a bunch of pictures. It's not like a businessy email just written on a blank template. It's very strange. So I would like to do... Um, a reading, a spoken word reading of Ooh, this of this I love, letter. I love I love this idea. So, yeah, this and everything great. I'm gonna say is exactly how it's written, and I will note when there are commas or periods because they bear explanation. So, starts out with the very business like, "Hey, <laughs> comma, I see Get are having a YouTube route, and I had formed." 
to ask you if you want to boost your impressions to rank your videos at better place compared you are at the moment, period. That was all one sentence <laughs> as our opening line. Whew. I don't know what a YouTube root is. And by the end of the email, I still don't know. So it says, I know you are doing great job at the moment. But what if you had some other options, which usually also could skyrocket your videos, period? <laughs> wow. What if, right? <laughs> Tell me more. Perhaps you have used all of them before had bad encounter, comma, or you never have, comma, or you are utilizing them right now, period. <laughs> But take a look at the services we need to offer and let us know in the event that this is interesting to you. <laughs> let us know. Oh, we will. <laughs> All right, last paragraph is, we might be the only ones with 24-7 live support team on the website, comma, and guaranteed customer satisfaction. You can use the below URL, all in lowercase URL, uh, to reach the website, you comma. You also have an option on the website for live support should you have any questions or concern. Oh, boy, do I. <sighs> or simply reply to the email, and then it ends with the sign-off of anticipating, period. <laughs> well... And then it's got a bunch of images about like how we could be buying followers and likes and stuff. And it's 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 to help grow this channel by buying likes, views, whatever. What if? But what if? <laughs> I mean, they make a compelling argument. How could you how could we not get on right? board with this? I I'm, know. I'm in. All right. All I'm right. In. Here's my, I'm going to read my credit card number out right here. Listen, we have to do what all the yep. big YouTubers That's are right. doing to boost our numbers. To boost the numbers. Okay, great. I don't want to reply in an email. It's old fashioned. So I'm going to read my uh, Discover card on <laughs> live, okay? All right, yeah. If you're, li if you're listening, watching, whatever, um, please subscribe. And take note. Yeah, okay. So Seb that is that is my shaming email it's a, and, nice. it, and that, of course it's the first one that is mm -hmm. like from i mean hope maybe it's an an actual person had to program it at least but it's our first like outside we email hope. and it was that and it was it was sort of i i it, it i it wasn't like i was disappointed but it, i read it and i was like oh, you didn't even try you didn't even try what if so, though what if Oof. if we have any concern i have a concern <laughs> Just one, though. Just one, yeah. <laughs> anticipating. I anticipating. Yeah. I, I, I. Are you anticipating the comeback of your new favorite girl group? No. No? No. What? What do you mean? Are you talking about Enmix? Yes, I am. Because <laughs> guess what? Some things have happened since uh, we ripped on the song. Okay. Both of their songs. Um, you're, you're a fan now. Yeah. How, I was a fan what, then. Yeah. But you're more, the amount of screenshots you sent me of you listening to Zero Zero. It's like. It's a good, it is a good song. It's just not in the right order. And, you know, they could have did some stuff better. And I agree, but it's like. We did talk about this a little bit. We did. Before, and mainly what changed for you was that, like, you're rooting for the underdog now, and yeah. you want to see, you know, because, uh, let's be honest, like, while it wasn't the best release, it wasn't the worst, but they could definitely do better, and you yeah. were, like, excited for, excited for what they were going to come out with. Um, yeah. you could only go up from here. Well, I mean, the bar is set pretty low. Yeah. Yeah, especially after Tank. The better song. <laughs> to who? To who? Nobody. You have to really... Like, it, I'm serious about this. Like, if you if you actually believe that, then you have to explain why. And then we have to duel because, like, you're... You, because you your words be, will not be enough. You must be expunged, basically. Oh, jeez. So, but anyway, yeah. That, so, but you become um, a fan of their story. And you... Oh, and I, you also I said like that... um failure. <laughs> Well, you also said too that it was like a, a group that you could be a, a, yeah. a part of for, or see them grow from the I very think, beginning. So it it was um a little bit of a joke at first. Oh, okay. I'll admit. Okay. But yeah, no, no, that's exactly what it became. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like 
uh, the first time I listened, I, I listened to it, it was it was okay, but it wasn't blowing me away. Mm. But we both agreed that at least one part of the song was good, right? <gasps> the middle part, the best part. Right. Yeah. And then I listened to it again, and then again, and then I listened to the other song. And yeah. And I said, "Oh shit, that's actually like way worse." Yeah. It. It. it, it I can't get over the people who think it's better. It's. It's not. Because, like, it's very clear that, like, I don't know, I imagine it was maybe two music producers who were like, we're going to do my song, no, we're going to do my song. And then the company CEO was like, right. guys, don't fight. You can both have the song. Because uh-huh. there's two good songs. They're just crappily mixed and spliced <sighs> weirdly. But with Tank, it's like, there's nothing, there's nothing redeeming. And then you get to the chorus, and it, it makes, it, it literally hurts your head. Yeah. Freaky fish, fish. <laughs> but whatever, anyway. whatever they actually meant by it, which we we already discussed what they meant. Yeah, they. I don't know, man. It just doesn't sound good. No. And, and then it does sound like fishy. Like it's supposed to be fresh, but they added an extra syllable. Was that thing? It doesn't sound good. No, but anyway, so so, but but they can do better. Like obviously, this was not their fault. There's one girl no. who I like. Her, her singing voice is really nice. Um, mm-hmm so yeah so i want to see what more they can do but right now they're still hopelessly promoting those two songs i don't know why they wouldn't just get them in the studio real quick and record something no right? no, no seriously I know. Like, like oh shit this flop we don't want them to fail uh because i'm sure they put a lot of effort into the girls themselves mm-hmm. because you know th- that whole process is like yeah it- it's pretty intense mm-hmm. um and you know, make a hit. They're just trying to fake it till they make it. Sort of, they have to, they put all this money into it, and so they gotta sell it. I guess, but so, but I'm they can saying. do better. If they just took, even if they didn't do something completely new, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say they just took the the two songs that are good on their own, mm-hmm. and just lengthen them. Right. Okay. So make actually, them a complete song. It's funny because. For today, I think it is. It's today. It's not. I mean, when this episode comes out, it's mm-hmm. not going to be. It's not going to be the date it is today. Yes. Um. That's true. But uh, trending today on Twitter, uh, is the is the word was the word Sherlock, and it was because it was the seven year or seven years ago the release of of Sherlock by Shiny came out, mm-hmm. and that song is literally two separate songs that they mesh into one thing, and yeah. I'll have to have you listen to it, but. I actually end up, I like one of the individual songs more than the combo. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it is three separate songs. What one song is made of two and it's mixed so much better. It's also from the same company, um, that next level that Aespa is from. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know, like that company could be really innovative when they're not being a little shady about it, but, uh, I want them to release, uh, and mix to release those two songs like that. Yeah. Just by themselves maybe i'll even like the one that i like much less more if i can hear it all as one full-fledged thing that song would be good if it was by itself Mm -hmm. just like i know it might be hard to hear because you don't really particularly like it but in my head like i can hear what it would sound like and yeah it actually sounds pretty fucking good yeah so you've shown that before too with you're trying to fix it yeah <laughs> to salvage it do you think you could try ever fix tank or i don't is that know beyond no because like you'd have to re- you'd have to remove the fucking chorus or you could like slow it down or maybe, maybe oh maybe no Ooh. maybe yeah but uh but yeah so now you are a um you're a full fan of them and what they can do would you yes venture to say that you are that what their fans are called your favorite fan name yeah it's it's answer N- yeah answers which N- is yeah n s w e r and it's supposed to stand for north south west east ers it it <laughs> makes no fucking sense there's been worse i don't know man just what why it's what's yeah. been worse like what what honestly has been worse aids oh my god I'm not. I'm not trying to be edgy. That was the fan group name, AIDS, because the group name was Dia, 
And so their name for their fans, which was very lazy, was just their name backwards, which happened to be Aid. So oh God. their fans were Aids. <laughs> okay. The joke's been everywhere. Like, this is an older thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. That is objectively worse. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, honestly, don't come after me, Blinks, but your fan name is also really lazy. What is it? It's just Blackpink, abbreviated. Oh. Pushed into, that's their fan oh. name. No, I hate that. That's awful. It's like, like, ARMY is an acronym, and I, I think it stands for, like, just four random words. I don't think it means anything in particular as a, con- a coherent sentence. But, yep. yeah, Blackpink is just Blinks from the same yeah. company that named 21's fans Blackjacks, which is arguably the most, like, unique and, like, oh, my God, that's a make so much sense name ever. So. That's actually a stroke of genius. But then you got Blinks. Like lazy yeah lazy so anyway there are worse by virtue of the meaning worse or being worse as far as creativity so yeah i guess answer at least stands for something that makes sense i know you don't like it you also don't like the the twice fan name of once but i think comparatively this one's no once is better yeah because it makes sense like it it it, it correlates to the group name yeah so it makes sense right Mm -hmm. like what the fuck does answer have to because they're first i think it's part of their like they have some weird storyline or lore or something that they're like explorer pirate some sort of something like that so like the exploration oh. and putting the compass in there is about that if you're an answer Oof. uh please let us know help a brother out dude there's some sort of lore to it i can't remember but uh it's a whole it's a whole thing so uh okay i'll look into it as I don't want to say what it is. So the moral of the story is that all publicity is good publicity. I guess so. Because now we're paying attention. I really would not have been paying attention otherwise. So, Like I said, I think they're talented. They have to be. Um, and clearly they show that. Mm-hmm. So. So you can do better. They will. We believe you can do it. You can do it. You're fine. You can do it. Full faith. <laughs> Full stop. Oof. So what's uh what's what is your most cherished video game memory? Hmm. What is my most cherished video game memory? I would really have to think about I don't have a lot of video games that I played. <laughs> I don't know. You might have, you really might have to come back to me on that. I was not prepared for that question. I'm sorry. Listen. What? It has nothing to do with this subject I'm going to bring up now. <laughs> okay, why did you ask? I don't know. <laughs> wow. What's in that monster drink? Listen. Uh-huh. This is what I want to talk about. Okay. Okay, because last time we, we discussed the fact that Survivor ended. <laughs> yeah. It's- like, I was, I was near the end, right? Mm-hmm. It's ended. Survivor China is done. For you. It's been done since 2007. But anyway. Right. Well... Okay. <laughs> Fuck everybody else. Right. I'm talking about me. me. Yeah. Uh, and we were going to go into a, a new season. You had a couple different, like, picks. Yes. For what we should watch next, right? Yes. Because eventually the goal is to get to a season where it's it's like fans versus vets or something like that, right? Fans versus favorites. Okay. Fans yeah. versus favorites. All right. The, um, fir- the first one. They've done the uh, at least like three times, but. Okay. So the first one. Yeah. It's very important. It's one of my favorite seasons ever. So to get to our um, end game, we have to go with our our lore building, right? Yeah. We have to go through the Iron Man, Iron Man 2, and Thor, and then we have to get our Captain America in there. Yeah. And- but we're skipping, or I'm if, if they're not relevant to the fans versus favorite season, I'm skipping them the way that people skip things like Iron Man 3. No, uh, I watch Iron Man 3. Was it your favorite of the Iron Men? No. Okay, so that there you go. They're <laughs> it not, wasn't. They're not bad. They're just compared to the other ones, either n- not memorable or they're not essential to our end. Fucking game Thor goal. two, man. She okay. Was bad. Okay, so I'm not. <laughs> I'm the only person I know who thinks that the Ragnarok movie was the worst of the three, and this is not a surprise. You knew this. 
and then they're not happy about it but yeah so i'm the only person on the planet who thinks that so no, it's fine. my opinion with anything thor related mm-hmm. or not iron man 3 related is invalid in the eyes of my my peers because i didn't like thor ragnarok all that much and that's my confession you you know <laughs> yeah i'm gonna i didn't mean to go off on this tangent either i'm, I'm gonna borrow a line from your mom what and uh say i don't think you should have told anybody that <laughs> wow i forgot about that one it's one it's one of the funniest things you you have said that she said to you about something that we i won't discuss mm-hmm for your yeah for your safety i completely yeah. so anyway yeah that's my dark confession and they, <sighs> i appreciate you all letting me sit here on this therapeutic futon and share my story Ooh, god but all right but anyway yeah so survivor china we just finished you had the winner pick from like the first two or three episodes we are now watching okay it's called Survivor <laughs> Cook Islands. It's called Cook <laughs> Islands because back in the day, Survivor actually used to go to different locations. and Yeah, you mean named... Patagonia, right? Huh? Hey? What? Where do they go now? Fiji? No. Yeah, Fiji because okay. they get a tax write off from the government of Fiji. Which I get, but it's like so yeah. boring now. It's like you really used to go. They used to go all the... They were just in China. Well, not just, but just to... To, to Lewis, first time watcher. Mm-hmm. So the next one is Cook Islands. Um, there were probably some complaints about there not being enough racial diversity. So instead of being like, we will make a more racially diverse cast for this season of Cook Islands, they said, we will make a racially diverse cast for this season of Cook Islands and separate them all by race on their own separate tribes. <laughs> And uh, I remember when it aired, there were some big name companies like Home Depot who pulled sponsorship from it. Like it was very controversial at the time. So, uh, that's surprising because Home Depot supports a lot of right wing shit now. Well, they draw the line at maybe, I don't know. Uh, they draw the line at physically separating <laughs> segregation. <races. laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, so and they were all like talking about stereotypes they wanted. Mm-hmm. They knew about and they wanted to, you know, help break. Um, I won't repeat them because they're the ones who said the stereotypes about themselves and that's not for me. I'll just say that some of it involved swimming. But anyway, um, oh my God. they said that, okay? <laughs> and then like you get who, to the white tribe and they're they? like... One of the tribes. <laughs> and, then, and then you get to the white tribe and they're like, I don't really notice anything different. And I'm sitting here like, yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't Oof. notice anything different. But uh, so it's called... <laughs> survivor cook islands <laughs> what do you call it i call it what it should be called which is sh- survivor <laughs> jim crow edition i mean that's what it is I, no that's yes, what it but is no oh my god that's what it is all right it's it's not Ugh, I, it is and i'm sorry that it is they don't stay separate forever spoilers they don't right now they are separate but equal in their ability to win immunity, correct? Yeah, as long as you don't have Bill, uh, Billy on your team. Billy? Man, they took his ass out. That was cold. <sighs> that was fucking cold. Bill, oh my god, yeah. Billy with so, three L's. So, since you're watching it for the first time, genuine spoiler warning, mm-hmm. I guess, if you also haven't seen it since yeah. it was out in 2006. Uh, wow, is that some shade? N- no, okay. no. I'm just saying, I just was saying how long it was around. Yeah. Um, Billy? Ouch. We respect you and your quest for love on the wrong oh my show. Oh, God, man. I, I forgot about what he did. You know, How could I was you forget, so huh? hyped for... I didn't realize that he got it voted, voted out that soon. We just started watching, so it was episode two. Yeah. And basically what we're talking about is this one contestant, um, he knew he was in trouble on his tribe. They had lost the challenge, and they're, they're going to tribal council, and mm-hmm. he's talking to the team next to him, and he's like... Oh, they're going to vote me out next. And then one of the women who's standing nearby is yeah. like, you know, I'm really sorry about that. We love you. And he goes, sincerely. Mm-hmm. And I love you. And turns out my poor friend, Ooh. Billy, Billy, he's like, Oof. it's OK if I get voted out because I fell in love because and her name is Candace on this tribe that we have never met or talked to more than the two seconds I talked no to her. No fucking way. 
no and he's like dead way. serious i'm sitting there losing my mind because it's been years since i've seen it all play out i just know about it and oh my god it was it was insane i've never seen anything like that on a reality show it was crazy um, and then a producer somewhere saw that and then said we yeah. should make a series about people not seeing what the other looks like or people just meeting and wanting to get married. Billy was the catalyst and he does not get the credit he deserves. Fucking Billy. But yeah. So, uh, Billy was incredible for his run and right? uh, that, that fucking love thing was legendary. Like So whole season's pretty good so far. So far so good. I it love is it. one of my favorite seasons. Um, Cowboy is awesome. Oh my God. And there's so many attractive people. Oh yeah, it's a very attractive season. Uh, Yule, right? Yule, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and then uh, uh Becky. Becky. Yeah. Uh, Ozzy. Yeah. Um, Parvati and uh, Sandra. Yep. Yeah, there's more. I'm blanking yeah, on names right now. But, there's more. But yes, yeah, so many attractive people. Yep. Um. Pretty much. And I know everything, <laughs> and Lewis knows nothing. No, I don't know anything. I'm. I'm having fun. I'm I'm going through it blind. Yeah, and I yeah. unlike China, I I really do think it'll be harder for you to pick who is the winner. Yeah, you said it would be. I really think it will. Mm-hmm. I mean, as it gets closer, I think you'll find two people it could be between. But even then, it would be hard. So right. But uh, I'm excited. It's one of my favorite seasons. And then I'm we excited got... to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. It's been fun so far. It is, and it's and it's not based on any sort of thing about someone named Jim Crow at all. It's not that's not the name of the season. It's Cook Islands. It's not Jim Crow decision. Jim Crow. No. Uh, oh my god. Uh, I mean, they've de- Survivor's done so many things. They've they've done it by gender. They've done it by age. Some, they've done it by gender and age. They've done it by generation. They've done it by occupation. Like they've done everything. So they had to do race at some point. Yes. Race was one of the first ones, I think, mm. actually. So. Right. That's true. Within the first couple of. of, of they uh, did like do years, an so. age division one in a season before that. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, so it's one of those things like <laughs> kill two birds with one stone. We're trying something new and we're also solving the unequal amount of different races problem. Except they put them together. <laughs> and that should not have been done, probably. This, this is a, probably a bad idea, but let's uh, let's see what happens. I'm trying to think of now if the, a dividing people by race aspect would be better or worse received if done today. Worse. You think so? Oh, absolutely. Okay. 100%. Okay. I don't know. Because I was trying to think of like, because it, if it is, you know, racial tensions are... Not, well, I guess not. They're higher. I think it would be cool if something because like 2006 internet wasn't shit, like it wasn't anything. So now we're in 2022, and so if such a like on the basis of being a social experiment can be like conveyed to a larger internet audience, I think as long as they knew the context, and maybe if the people who were being divided up by the race knew ahead of time, it was like a show or season that is going to have you divided by race instead of just being like surprise because it's like well shoot now you're here and you have to go with it but i think if all those pieces were came into play it would be a cool thing to do for for today's day and age and that's my pitch i don't know if i agree okay (laughs) all right (laughs) that's fine It's, it's it's just like why we already did it once like why the fuck are we gonna do it again time should change i don't know yeah, but it doesn't really add anything to the like the, 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 the racial segregation. It doesn't really add too much. No, I mean, and honestly, for the most part, any of the seasons that they've done divided by age or gender or whatever mm-hmm. also don't make a difference. I'm trying to think now. Spoilers, also, I guess, but <gasps> I'm trying to think for any of those sort of gimmicky seasons if there was any sort of like alliance that ran through all the way or whatever or team that dominated. I can only think of one instance, but it's for like one of my also one of my favorite seasons ever. It was a brains brawn beauty, yep, season, and there was one team that lost all the time. Um, and so 
in that sense it affected the game but otherwise the gimmicks are just gimmicks jeff just needed to name the season something and and yet despite that he still named it after the location how about that that's acceptable yeah uh thank you jeff thank you jeff thank you you were ahead of your time hey man i, I, I guess love though show. maybe you don't do this sort of thing again i guess maybe it's up to you. If you're making bank on it, do it. Roll the dice. Yeah, roll the dice. <laughs> if you have immunity. It's back up for grabs. So it's back up for grabs. Mm-hmm. And and racial segregation is back up for grabs. No, no. Jeff. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, I'm great. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to be talking so deeply about this, but why? I don't know. I just we we're just talking. We are just talking. Mm-hmm. I feel I feel like sometimes we talk about so many specifically maybe not niche, but like very specific things. Uh-huh. That like there can't possibly be another person out there who knows what we're talking about with Edmix and Survivor. Probably not. But if you do, you are a rad person. We don't have to talk about um niche things we can talk about anything but we can also do what we want and we can talk about niche things i was gonna say (laughs) that was the second thing i was gonna say yeah which i was hoping you were going towards yeah because i I don't know man there's so many fucking podcasts out there that that already do the things that are popular like they stick with like a type of topic sure like they they just go for one and it's 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 good because like you get more of a more of like an aggregate of of, of people that would want to listen just mm-hmm. because they're 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 into the subject matter yeah right? so and we've always just advertised ourselves as two normal folks just hanging out in in, in massachusetts and living life yeah uh with a little bit of a nerdy twist to it i feel like a lot of the stuff we talk about it leans more toward like nerdy pop culture sort of whatever yeah but, which I like. But you know what? So nerdy, there. nerdy is pop culture now. Yes, it's trendy now. So it's like just that it happened to be something that was natural. <laughs> yeah, like so people who would be making fun of me for liking anime are probably now who have children watching anime with their children. They're definitely watching anime with their children. I was head of the curb. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. So. Nice. So I think that, yeah, I think you're right. There's something, yeah. hopefully something in here for everybody, even if it's not everything. But maybe us talking about spoilerific Survivor episodes makes you want to watch Survivor. Or maybe us talking about how people said Enmix's Double Zero was the worst song ever. You, you can, or Tank. You can go check those out too, so. It just adds a little bit to, yeah, whatever we happen to show interest to. So, and that could be anything. Mm-hmm. It could be fucking Weed Cat. It could be. <laughs> weed Cat. Um, I've seen so much fan art of the three starter. Pokemon. I know they look, they all look good. Mm-hmm. I'm actually excited to play that one. So, uh, good job, Nintendo. Good job, Game Freak. Good nice job, job, Game Freak. Whew, you're killing it. Killing it. Freak. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you have issues at your job? Not issues, just a week's worth of like, I issues. No, not issues. Issues would imply there was something wrong. I w- have been doing one of my jobs at my library is book ordering, mm-hmm. but we also have a children's librarian who does the book ordering for the children's because it makes more sense because they work with children the most and stuff. So sure. they do the book ordering there. And half of the things that were coming up for me to like get added to our library were like, I don't know who found this. How did you find this? What like it's just been a weird week for book releases um like there's this one which i don't know if you want to post the the cover of because i want you to look real fast and tell me what you first read this as who are your people okay i kept reading it as who are you people (laughs) who are you people (laughs) and i just kept thinking of yeah patrick Patrick (laughs) looking at the rock it's a book called who are your people but i kept reading it too fast and it kept seeing i kept seeing it as who are you people do you know that's one of my favorite fucking scenes from spongebob ever yeah he's just like janet marty (laughs) who are you who are you people yeah oh my god yeah marty i'm scared (laughs) that whole episode was like a fever dream it was so so fucking weird. weird i loved it um 
Another book that we got ordered for our library for the children's department was called, and I quote, Lobster Garden. It's a... Oof. I don't know if I showed you or Sean. I guess I must have showed Sean, but it looks like this. And it's a book about lobsters living in one of the <sighs> ma- rivers in Massachusetts with heavy Boston accents. Oh, God. It, yeah, the tagline is, speak out against pollution with a wicked awesome Boston accent. It sounds pissa. And the description, which is all written the same way with H's, plenty of <sighs> H's, is Walter is a proud lobster. No, not Walter. No, Walter. it says Walter. Well, Walter. Fine. Neat. It's not... It's not, it's, not, it's not consistent. I'm reading it how right. it is here. It's um, it's neat and tidy in every way. His greatest dream is winning the annual Swell Gardens contest. Garden. But year after year, that honor always goes to his boisterous neighbor, Milton. One day, when heaps of garbage show up in their yards, the rival lobsters <laughs> must join forces to save their beloved gardens from the trash floating down from above. Oh. Can these two crabby crustaceans work together before their gardens are covered in rubbish? I like that they said three different words to call garbage, but but anyway, for that one, if you <laughs> if oh, you want to read it, it's Oscar written by performance. It's written by Allie Bryden and E. G. Keller. So bravo. I, I, six Got out of ten, the cons- the uh, accent could have been a little more consistent, but yeah, that's kind of sus. Makes yeah. me think that you're not really from the area. So right, I mean, I, I, I forgot to read it and um and see where they were from, but. It, it's so weird reading with that accent and even though uh, i'm from Mark around Wahlberg. here and hear it all the time so but if you want to read to your children with a, admittedly an obnoxious accent if you don't naturally have it it's lobster garden does anyone ever say that you have a boston accent yes i don't know why it drives me crazy i'm like i didn't think i had an accent in fact i tried actively to make sure i didn't have one <laughs> i guess it wasn't working <laughs> really why do you think i have an accent no okay not really i have more family members that have much thicker accents yeah i think that's probably why though maybe maybe if i had met you without uh, having never met anyone Mm -hmm. from the state i might think so but having met like ashley's mother and like her family like Mm. they all have the damn accent so yeah josh it's funny because josh's family is originally from massachusetts they live up in maine my husband and um the second he gets back into contact with them, the accent comes out. He has like one of those Boston accents. And I make fun of him all the time. And, he, and I would say, why'd you say it like this and stuff? And he just like, I think it's cute, but it's nice to kind of bust his chops about it. How it's, easily he slips back into it. It's it's uh, it's like code switching, basically. Okay. You know? No. <laughs> Do you know what code switching is? No. It's like, it's like, um, like when people of color, like when they are around like white people mm-hmm. they speak one way and then you know, oh okay i knew of that i didn't know there was a word yeah. or a term for that if i'm wrong i'll just cut it out <laughs> <laughs> look this up future lewis hey hey um so i was also cataloging some adult books that were also kind of strange nice. one of which i ordered not this one but there's an endorsement for this book called battle of the linguist mages and the the endorsement quote on the bottom of this book is and now my head hurts. And that's literally the endorsement quote. It's like a Ooh. sort of sci-fi-ish book. So maybe that's why. But yeah, it's got the author's name who says the quote on there. It's just like proudly displayed. I don't really understand it. But um, yeah. You don't understand it, but you, you're going to order it. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> um, this last book that is on my weird book of the week list from my library was one I actually ordered. So... Um, Did you know that Joe Exotic, remember Joe Exotic? He was very, like, in the news at the time. Did you know he wrote a memoir? Guess who ordered them? Me. (laughs) So, I was was like, Tiger King 2 just came out kind of recently. Like, he's still kind of in the public consciousness. And so... I don't know anything about any of that. I don't either. I watched um, Drag Queens reacting to Tiger King 1. Mm -hmm. um, But I've never seen it, so... I, it, I just just they're they're from florida and that oh should, never mind that should be half of no nope, yeah. i'm so I gotcha. do you know at least about joe exotic and and that bitch carol baskins oh here's what i know all right what do you know joe exotic was sent to prison right yep i don't know if he's still there or 20 if, years 
Oh, he's he's there for 20 years. Okay. Yeah, because he tried to do a murder for hire against oh. Carol Baskins. That's what he went to jail for. Okay. Not for the countless amount of tigers and other exotic cats that he was probably not treating the best, but for just for that. <laughs> that. Just for that. Um. Also, I think, and I might be wrong about this, so please correct me if I'm wrong. Is he gay? Yes. Yeah. And he was a, a married thruple. He had two husbands. Okay, that's what I thought. Mm. Yeah, all right. So, and he tried to run for president. <laughs> I did not know that. Uh, you know, go um, to Florida. His his um, he probably won. He didn't because he 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 ran and obviously he didn't become president. Not not for president. I thought you. you no, were president. you saying that he was? Oh, I thought you said he was running for uh, like something for Florida. No. Oh. Oh. No. 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 I said he's from Florida. Oh, so. he's from. Yeah. 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 They're and Floridians. his uh his campaign mascot was a uh, tiger. You know how there's the elephant yeah. and the donkey? His was the tiger. Well, it makes sense. So yeah, he's in jail. and But I was like, he's still sort of on the mind of the public. So I bought it. And I yep. had to open... I have to open up the books to write um, their call numbers in them, which always used to bum me out to write in books at first. But now it's just whatever. Is and that why they all have writing in them? Yeah, that's all me. Oh, because I... Yes. If there's any new books, especially all the new books... New. we. All the new books we have have been all me because now I've been with it for more than six months. I was wondering, like, what the fuck is this number and why is it, like, why is it here? It's in case the spine label falls off or if, um, but because we have two libraries and they both yeah. use the same item codes and they okay. both look the same. Um, so I write the abbreviations as well and stuff nice. for for our person who helps to process them. So there's a science to it. I'm not just writing in books to be like a jerk. I. It's I all, had no idea what it was. I'm like, uh, and it's well, all in pencil. So yeah, no, it's it's nothing that's permanent. So, so I was opening up this Joe Exotic memoir to write its location codes in there, and I accidentally come upon the preface, which starts with, "Dear American public, can you believe that bitch Carol Baskins is out there <laughs> free as a bird while I'm sitting here rotting away in prison?" And also, it's got these um, tiger border marks on, like, every intro chapter page. Yep. Because he's the Tiger King, of course. Oof. Um, yeah. So, and it's just, like, you read it. I don't know much about him, but I, I know what his voice sounds like, and I can... I don't think I've ever heard him. Yeah. So... Oh, I'll, I'll look him up. He... Yeah, he's just like a gruff sounding chain smoker uh, with maybe a higher pitched voice. Also a country singer. Oh. Supposedly. Not he's anymore, but a Renaissance man. Yeah, a man Oof. of many talents, <laughs> including hiring for murder. But um didn't Carol ba- uh, did, uh, uh, don't people think like she murdered somebody or Oh, something her like husband. That? Yeah. Did she do it or Probably. Her husband just like they never found his body, like he's mysteriously disappeared. She also collects exotic cats. So she fed him to the That's what the theory is, the popular internet theory. I mean it it definitely happened. Well, I think they're reopening an investigation now because the attention it got, but That's Tiger King, and so I bought the book cool. and those are the books that have come to my library. So you should go to your local library and That sounds awesome. Surely they'll have weird things there too. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll have a Carpet cleaner. Is that a- like mine. <laughs> I that catalog a- that too. Wow. Yeah. How about telescopes? Working on it. We got one. Oh, that's not the one I want. Can I have a different one? No, it's not ready yet. Please. It's heavy. It's so heavy. Do I have to write an email about it? Sure. Go for it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this fake customer <laughs> service exchange we just did for no reason. <laughs> Uh, Looking back at Popeyes, holy shit! All right, just don't start shouting your uh, your the price you twenty eight thirty, sir. <laughs> I don't know how the exchange went. Yeah. So anyway, it went poorly. So yeah, your week was, but your week was much more exciting than my week. I was just making fun of Lobster Garden. Lobster Garden. Meanwhile, you were having someone's gonna do it. Donut. I mean, not donuts. Uh, cookies at one a.m. Well. <gasps> You still got to try it, so... Okay, I know, I'm excited. It's... I don't know this to be true. Hmm. I just know it's a fact of life. <laughs> oh, I was like, wait a minute. It's probably the best damn cookie I've ever had in my life. Don't say that. That builds up so much <laughs> expectation. He, What he's hyping up is insomnia cookies in New Haven, Connecticut. And yeah. maybe other places? Boston, I think. 
Ashley looked it up. She's like, we can get it when we're at PAX. I'm like, we will. Uh, yeah. Don't don't you worry. <laughs> don't you worry. I'll find it. But yeah, man, we've been hyping up Ocho and Insomnia Cookies and that ramen place. Like, this is just They're the, all food related. This is the food episode. I like food. I like to eat. You gotta eat to live, so I do, except for lunch. I don't do that, but oh well. <sighs> well, that's great. Hmm. Well, hopefully you guys are all watching this or listening to this during your lunch breaks when you get lunch, because three meals a day is very important. Is that, Can't speak for all of us sitting on this couch, anymore. but I I do. Oh. Yeah. You should at least no. have eat something midday. It doesn't have to be a full Probably meal. Probably midday. Yeah, mm. something. Something. Yeah. So whether you're watching this or listening to this on your lunch break, your dinner break, your break from responsibility. Yep. Thank you for listening. Your mental <laughs> your mental break. Your mental break, yeah. You know. Your spiritual break. We believe in you. We do believe in you. And uh, thanks for watching, honestly. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Next it, episode's going to be episode 10. The big one zero. Double digits. Can we get to the big two zero? Yeah. Easy. Of subscribers. E easy. Easy. If you guys see us on Twitter, you follow us on Twitter. Please, please subscribe. Yeah. Please consider subscribing. We're also coming out with a uh, a new means of uh, social media contact, I guess. Ooh. The, for business. Strictly for business. Oh, what is it? Um, it's a web website that begins with a T. <laughs> so, what else? Uh, what else is? Um, it was a song by Kesha. Oh, okay. So, okay. so we'll be that's we'll be, exciting. We'll be hanging with the the Gen Zers yes, and, and being be. relatable. Hel are... Hello, fellow kids. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> Me, a Zoomer. <laughs> um, yeah, that's incredible. I can't yeah. wait. It's gonna be great. Yeah, but um, 10. Yeah. We're only 10. 10 years old. I have something coming, and I don't know when. Okay. But it's podcast related. Oh, okay. And it is a surprise. I don't know when it will come out. I don't know what you mean now. <laughs> good. Wait, no, not good. You can't just drop that. Do you want to uh, promote anything? Um, I'd like to promote the fact that we're... Uh, by we, I mean me, getting my act together. And I've been working on t uh, timestamps for all the videos, which oh. will include this one um, at, within the day. Wow. Not because uh, these things take time. Um, also, links to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And the last uh, episode of Lemon Tea Podcast was also going to be linked at the end of each video in case you want to see other videos. That's very cool. And hit the bell. Hit the bell. And come get your dinner. It's getting cold. <laughs> I don't know. I up a dinner bell for some reason. Um, but yeah, trying to make it all, you know, more like fun and appealing for you guys all who have been watching as it's just been one continuous like video. Yeah. And we have a regular upload schedule now. Yay. Pretty good. <laughs> so we are. Thursdays, right? Every other Thursday. Yep. That's yep. it. That's it. That is it. So that would be like at least 20 episodes more or not not yeah. more from now but like. yeah basically um every other week so yeah yeah that's so exciting we'll be in the 20s by the end of the year basically that's so exciting mm -hmm. it's gonna be great yeah i am genuinely stoked uh having a lot of fun and i can't wait to do every episode yeah yeah it's fun so that's what i want to promote just that we're that i'm trying to clean up uh, oh. and do stuff so that's for the people I appreciate it. That is a really big, big part of the whole like branding thing. <laughs> yeah. YouTube maintenance it, it of really your is. channel and video and stuff was not like this when I first started YouTube oh. back in the day. It's like required now. You have to do it. Yeah. So you got to do the, the timestamp. It was annotations, which I used to use all the time. And then if you have, oh, I forgot about annotations, right? If you have the patience captioning, um, I do not. So hopefully, auto-generated captions work okay. Uh, and the end title cards and the shorts, the YouTube shorts, and it's a whole, it's a whole thing. It is a lot. Thanks, Susan Wazowski. <laughs> it's giving a lot of you thumbs up how, today. You learned how to say it the other, um, not the other episode, uh, but yeah, it's it's fine. It, she needs I, to make her stance more clear on NFTs, and then I will decide how to pronounce her name. 
I fucking hate NFTs. Anyways, we did a whole episode on that. We did. We talked about <laughs> it nearly every episode. Still, the stance is still remaining the same. So. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, they suck. No. Yeah. But anyway, that's probably another topic that's going to come up again for another time. Sure. Um, anything you want to promote? No. <laughs> Hey, I'll promote. All right. So if you like what you heard, uh, please consider subscribing to Lemon Tea Podcast. Also follow our Twitter at Lemon Tea Podcast for updates and occasional um, ogling of one one ho. Um, you can follow if you like one of us more than the other and we won't judge. You can follow Lewis at twitch.tv slash you know Lumo. Also on Twitter. And then I am on Twitter at Trippy Des, like a weeb. And also on my YouTube channel as Rest Flame with two E's. And I think I covered it all. <laughs> Did you cover when you are going to be making more content? Nope. I didn't cover Specific, that. Specifically. I didn't cover Glossed that. over it. I, I, you know, we're Very... running out of time. Maybe I'll just have to say it. <laughs> so, but expect an episode here at least in a regular schedule of every yeah. other Thursday. Mm -hmm. For sure. Thank you very much. And if for not watching, for everybody. sure, we'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, we'll, we'll update the Twitter or whatnot. And the I'll, Twitter. I want to post more shit on Twitter too. Like, I don't know. I have, I've never done this before, so no. I, I don't know what I'm doing. No, so we're if that isn't a surprise already. But yeah, we're just gonna go into this and dive into the deep water and swim out from there. I guess it should be interesting. Yeah, or drown. Oh, okay. Well, on that note, <laughs> but thanks for watching. See you two Thursdays from now. See y'all. Bye. Bye.